Hi everybody, this is Fiona, and to, uh, this week we, Marin and I, had like a big friend anniversary thing. Um, Tuesday marked 10 years of Marin and I first meeting and becoming best friends. Obviously, that's not like the day that we officially became best friends, that's the day that we first met, um, but I consider that like our friend anniversary because that's the day that we came into each other's lives. And in this video, I kind of just want to talk like a little bit about like um, what we've kind of like gone through like over like the past 10 years and everything, which is so crazy to believe um, that like I met her when like, when we met and we were nine and now like here we are um, college students. Um, it's crazy. So I hope that you enjoy this video. And also, um, if you haven't seen it yet, Marin posted a video on Tuesday, I believe um, it was a short little montage clip of like a quick little um, recap of like the past like 10 years with our friendship. Um, you guys should definitely check it out and uh, see it because it's a really, really great video. So as I just mentioned before, um, Marin and I met 10 years ago. My family had just moved from Georgia to New Jersey and both Marin and I were beginning the fourth grade. I don't remember a lot about that first day, but I remember being really, like, nervous, like, um, because it was my first time, um, visiting, like, the school in New Jersey, like, I, I hadn't, like, visited it before, like, or anything, like, um, you know, I just had gone through, like, a really big move, um, I had, like, been the new girl at, like, different schools, like, in the past, but, like, this was my first time being, like, the new girl at a, like, completely, like, different town state like everything so like I was really nervous I probably remember crying um just like you know nerves but um I remember meeting Marin and um I think it took my mom a while to like know her name I think like my mom thought her name was like Karen or something but it was Marin um and you know I just remember meeting her like um I just remember meeting like so many people that day but I think like Marin really like stood out to me and everything um and so, um, I think I was, like, the only new girl in that class that year. I don't remember, like, any other, like, new people or something. So, um, we kind of, like, met. And I don't think we talked much on, like, the first day. Like, obviously, like, I don't remember the first day. That was, like, 10 years ago. Um, but I just remember meeting Marin for the first time. And just, like, unaware of, like, how much she would be, like, part of my life. And how, um, crazy it would be. And so, like, I make friends pretty quickly like I may be um quiet and like shy especially like when I was nine I was like really quiet and really shy um but like that was just always like really easy for me um so I think I remember like Marin and I like had talked a little bit it was like a progression like it wasn't like we automatically like began talking those like first few days but um we definitely um just kind of became closer I think definitely during recess a lot um that was just kind of when we started bonding um a lot and um just you know within those first I think like the first month of being there like we just um hit it off right from the start. I think what also helped is that like Mary and I like we're different people like we have different personalities but yeah like we seem to get like along really well we had like some similarities um between us um and we just like felt like we really um, I guess benefited from each other, if, like, you want to say, like, we just were able to get along really well, and obviously, like, our first year of friendship, like, it was not perfect, um, but, you know, we, we just seemed, like, really good friends, and it was great for me to, like, have a friend already, like, you know, having just moved to a different state, and then meeting Marin, and she definitely made, like, my first year in New Jersey really, like, really um good and so I'm really uh, grateful that I was able to meet her um on that like very first day like I feel like that was meant to happen and so then we were in the same fifth grade class which was awesome so it was great to have like um another friend in the class and fifth grade like it's a weird grade like I wasn't the biggest fan of fifth grade I'm gonna be completely honest um but it definitely just made it all better that Marin was um in the same class as me. Uh, next year after fifth grade we were in middle school which like definitely was 
not my favorite time. I would want to say, like, I don't think a lot of people look back on their middle school time as, like, really awesome. Um, and obviously, like, I can't remember every single class that Marin and I were in together. Like, our middle school, like, the grades or like, the, each grade was divided into, like, two teams, I want to say, like, Team A and Team B or something like that. Um, Marin and I were always, like, in the same team, um, and there are times where we did have some of the same teachers, and a few times we were in this, some of the same classes, but, um, um, you know, it was good that we had, like, our separation, like, we were in every single class together, um, but then it was, like, really nice when we, um, obviously were, um, in classes together. I think I remember being in sixth grade math class together and that was a really crazy class um and i think and we obviously always had like lunch together so that was um really great and i think um definitely like we we became close throughout middle school but also like you know middle school um is like a really awkward age and we were both doing like a lot of um growing and just trying to like figure out like who we are like i mean we were becoming like teenagers and that's like a a really changing time and so there were definitely times where we did not have um the perfect friendship there are definitely some mistakes that i made along the way um there are mistakes that marin made along the way but like i think those like it we in a weird way became closer from that and um i mean we both like obviously like we made like other friends and everything um because that's like best friends do. It's not like you have like some exclusive club of like, oh, I can only be friends with this person. Like obviously like we had like um, some of like the same friends. We also had like different friends um, and that's like totally okay. And we were completely fine with that. Um, but like, again, like we just always, we just always felt like we were, I guess, I don't know how I'm putting this, but like um, at the end of the day, like we were each other's like best friends and um, through, like, every, like, fight, every, like, mistake that we made, I think, like, um, we obviously did forgive each other, and, um, you know, we, we grew up together. I think that's, like, a really amazing thing is that we did grow up, um, together in that time. So then, um, the summer after we graduated from middle school, which was summer of 2011, five years ago, which is crazy, um, my family moved to North Carolina, and, um, I mean, I was, like, really happy to move to North Carolina just because, like, I felt like New Jersey wasn't the greatest experience for me. No offense to anybody who, like, lives in New Jersey or anything. Like, it just, like, wasn't um, time in my life that I really enjoyed. So I was happy to, like, move to North Carolina and everything. And, I mean, like, when I moved, like, I, there weren't, like, a lot of friends from New Jersey that I was, like, oh, I definitely want to keep in contact with. And I think, like, obviously I was, like, Facebook friends with people, but, like, it wasn't that I was like, oh, I really want to try and actually keep in contact with you, um, but I did with Marin, and what I loved about it is that it wasn't, like, a forced contact. Like, we didn't talk every day. We just kind of, I think, like, casually, like, texted each other, um, sometimes, like, called each other on the phone, and I think, like, that made us closer, and it's interesting to think how, like, um, like, obviously, like, I've never been in a long-distance, like, relationship before or anything. Um, so I know that those definitely can be really hard, but I feel like Marin and I's, like, long-distance friendship has made our friendship just, like, that much closer. Like, we went through high school together even though we weren't at the same high school. Um, I just felt like we were growing up together. Like, we both had, like, the same ambitions of like we wanted to go to college um we wanted to you know just kind of like grow up in that way like it's kind of hard to explain but um you know in high school you do you're all so doing like a lot of growing up and I just feel like we um were growing up together we we're supportive of each other um no matter what we were doing and um I just feel like she was that friend that I could call up or text if like something was bothering me like it wasn't like I, I feel like there were just a lot of friends that like I couldn't do that with and with Marin I could always do that and that was um a really great thing and I think that's when I knew like you know she's like my best friend like this is somebody whom I can laugh with I can smile with um I can cry with like I can talk to about anything and that um 
is really amazing. So another thing that I want to mention is, and I don't know if like we've um, talked about it much here, but um, Marin and I both did bike trips. Um, we did it with the same company for I think the same amount of summers. Um, and what was like unique about it is that we never did a trip together. Um, like we always did a trip um, each summer, but we never were on the same trip or in the same group. Um, and I think it's because like we wanted to have this joint experience of going on these trips, but we wanted to have like our own experiences as well. And um, obviously like we could relate to each other going on them. Like it was always like so great talking about it at like the end of the day being like, oh yeah, like remember when I did this trip, like this moment, like we could relate to it together. Um, and I mean, it definitely would have been really cool to do like a trip with her and everything uh, but I'm glad that like we had our own experiences um, with it in our different groups um, I think that made it um, a lot easier and like I was in a few groups with like there are people who came in like as um, friends on the trip and um, sometimes you just feel like they were exclusive or something um, or it's like you know they knew each other along the way and then adding to like that group dynamic like if you know what I mean awesome <laughs> But, um, I, like, I'm glad, again, that we just had, like, our own experiences. And not that, like, Marin and I would have been exclusive if we had been on a trip together. But I think it's just we also felt like we were at different levels, um, on those trips. Um, we wanted to go to different places, um, but we've done a few of the same trips together. And there was one summer, um, where the summer, where she, like, the summer 2011, she had these one group of leaders. And then the next summer, for the summer 2012, I had those leaders. And so we were... Um, able to kind of share those like leaders together which was amazing um but um I'm glad that we had like those different experiences together like joint you know you know what I mean we had the same experiences but like different experiences as well and also when we were applying to colleges um I don't think there was a school that we um both applied to we wanted like different things in schools um but yeah we were both like really supportive like of each other's decisions like I think Marin had like a lot of schools on her mind like um I remember when she called me to announce that she had gotten her first acceptance letter and of course I was so happy for her um I think she also had like a tough time deciding what school she wanted to go to meanwhile she knew like I wanted to go to Elon and all the other amazing schools that I applied to so that was like a really great thing that um we went through the college process together and really and we were really supportive of each other's decisions i think um we both wrote about our bike trips we both like um helped each other with like the common app essays um and we just like we went that through that together um and i think it was really great to have like her um be very supportive of me and i hope that i was just as supportive um of her now here we are um both college sophomores uh she's about to turn 20 next month and i'm still 19 well, I just turned 19 like two months ago but um but it's just amazing to think of all that we've been through and um just thinking you know back how we met and we were so young and now um 10 years later it's it's through all that and it's amazing like obviously we both have like other best friends now um there are some like friends that I've known for like a year and I feel super close um with them but um, I think just Marin is somebody who is going to be my friend forever. Like, we are going to go through even more life experience together. Like, we're going to go through, you know, graduating college, um, going through our 20s, um, eventually, like, getting married and having kids. Like, we're going to, we have so much more of our life to go through, and I'm so excited to see, like, what the next 10 years are going to be like. We're obviously, we're still going to be friends 10 years um, from now, 20 years, 30 for the rest of our lives. And I am really excited that we get to go um, through this together. So um, I hope that you have that friend in your life, whether you've known them for 10 years or you've known them for a few months, that you're able to connect with, you're able to talk to um, whenever you need to, whether it's to tell them a funny thing that happened that day or to tell them something that's really bothering you. Those are the people that you need in your life and not just at that moment, but for the rest of your life. And I'm so lucky to have somebody as um, wonderful and kind and caring as Marin is. She's done amazing things um, to inspire others. Um, it's been great to see 
her um, discover her passions, and um, I'm just really, really excited to see what she's going to do in the future.